Now, before I actually get started on today's project, which involves these old side cutters, I wanted to talk a little bit about this paint that I used here yesterday. And um, I knew that I'd probably be using very little of this, this particular one because uh, uh, it's sort of a translucent, transparent type paint. And I thought somebody might be sort of interested in seeing this. Uh, you know, I, I knew about it. I knew what it was, uh, but I'd actually never used it before, so I didn't know how good it was going to work. But it actually works pretty good. And uh, I took this uh, microscope gla glass slide and I sprayed on it, and I built it up pretty heavy right here. And I, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's it's uh, it's transparent. You can actually see through it, which is which is kind of neat. If you wanted to color, say, uh, the lens of the uh, starboard side of the ship, or a boat, or an airplane, uh, on the on the uh, starboard wing, uh, it would be green. So, uh, unless I got that wrong, I should know. I got my pilot's license, but oh well. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, so you can uh, you can see through it here. And it, it uh, doesn't seem to distort or uh, fog up whatever you're looking at. Um, I'm hoping you can see through there. Anyway, I thought you just might be interested in seeing that. Okay, now about this. I've had these old side cutters for many, many years. Actually, I think they belonged to my dad and possibly my grandfather before that. And uh, what what the problem is with them is that they're a little bit on the wide side if you wanted to nip off something from the sprue. Uh, in the past I used to just use a pair of scissors or a knife, a hobby knife, and I would sort of you know lay the sprue down and then if I wanted to nip, nip a piece off I would just take the uh, hobby knife like like say that this, this was the sprue and this was the piece I wanted and I would just push down like that. Well, that, uh, that actually does work pretty good, except that you risk, if you're laying your sprue with all the little parts and you're laying it on, the, on something flat, when you're pushing down, it's putting stress on some little tiny pieces that you might not want to be putting stress on. So a, a nipper is actually better. However, it's kind of wide. And, and my plan today is to see if I can't uh, grind it down so that it's a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more narrow here well you'll see what I'm talking about now the hinge part of this is pretty badly worn and I'm noticing that when you squeeze down on them they kind of sort of slip over to one side more than the other uh, I know what I'm talking about, but maybe you can't you can't see it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and squeeze it together, and then when it slips over to the side that it likes the best, I'm going to fasten it that way. Idea being is so that uh, when I grind it down, it's going to be flush in that direction that it's going to want to go anyway. If you know what I mean. That didn't make sense, did it? Anyway, let's see what happens here. Thank you. 
Okay, I think I pretty well got it about as thin this way, you know, as I want to get it. Um, I'm thinking maybe if I just very, very lightly, you know, go along this side right here. Don't want to go in too much because then I'll be, you know, on the edges that actually come together. And then once I remove them, then this thing isn't going to work at all. But I think if I just very, very lightly go here, I can make it so that it will cut even closer to whatever it is that you're trying to cut off. I'm probably going to end up having to get a, uh, a proper pair of uh, model nippers. They're kind of expensive, but uh, and I was kind of hoping to save the money, but I this will work, but it won't be what you would call precise. It's, it's definitely not going to work on, on photo etch. I, I know that right, right away, but it should work on nipping pieces off of the sprue. Anyway, I'm just going to do a little bit on the side here. Now my experience in something like this is when I try to improve on it, I only make it worse. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, or sort of ahead. <laughs> 